Greetings, Peanutians, and welcome to my version 253 update event breakdown video. And if you're wondering why it's not specifically only the Bugcat Capital update, well, this update has quite a few collections of uh, events to go over, so yeah. Thought you'd have a breather after the Go Wes event, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Wrong! And before we get started, please always remember to check the description and or the official patch notes linked below for any changes that may occur during and or after the live update. Furthermore, as this patch comes with so many different events, please remember to check the timestamps in the description if you're looking for a specific event breakdown. With that being said, let's start with the highlight event of this patch, the Bug Capo MapleStory Collab event. For the Bug Cap Capo event, please be aware of all of these important notes as some of it may be important for you to not mess things up or miss earned days. The first thing to note is that if you leave midway through before you kill that day's total kill requirement, that will actually reset your kill count back to zero. The second thing to note is that each range of days have a certain required kill amount, those being 1,000 for days 1 through 5, 10,000 for days 7 through 11, and 100,000 for days 13 through 17. And before anyone freaks out about how this is too hard, there's actually a support skill that activates after each 100 mob kills in that map that gives you an additional kill count, so that won't be too much torture. And lastly, if anyone actually caught this detail, days 6, 12, and 18 are not in those ranges because those are special days where all you have to do is watch a webtoon's cutscene in-game. Though there are those important notes to take into account, thankfully this clap event isn't too demanding or too lengthy, so with that being said, I'll work to the next part of the event. The second event in this patch is the Nexon 30 year anniversary event. During the Nexon's 30 year anniversary event, you'll be tasked with collecting celebration points that drop as different letters from mobs within a 20 level range above or below your character. Thankfully, all of those letters are claimed and consumed upon pickup so there will be no inventory clutter. Furthermore, once you've collected the day's 365 points, you'll be able to claim 365 EXP vouchers per day, with Sundays giving you a double that amount for a total of 730 vouchers per Sunday. And some rewards I'd like to highlight are, for day 12, my buddy Noah's chair. I'm definitely not highlighting this for certain reasons. Yes, the Erda. <clears throat> Day 24, Noah Royd, and once again highlighting this only for yes, the Erda. Don't judge me. Day 29, as you get a prepared pendant of a spirit that lasts 30 days. And lastly, Day 30, a 30 years of friendship medal that gives you 30 EXP boosts for 30 days. And from what I can see on the patch notes, no, this is not an NX medal, so you will have to switch in between the medals when attempting to use it for training. The third part of this event is Choo Choo Special Slushies event. This part of this patch gives you quite a few rewards, including a renamed version of the currently known VIP boosters. Those being the Choo Choo Special Boosters. This item's function is exactly the same as the previous versions, that being the limits as well. And each time you complete this quest daily, you'll be given some Choo Choo Points, which are used for the Choo Choo Special Slush skill. This is essentially this event's event skills, so nothing really to cover on that. And the last portion of this specific part of the event is the Ripe Slurpy Fruit. This part of the event is essentially just a bonus event skill part, of which you are given a random set of skills from the list you saw earlier, of which there are stat values are randomized at a certain fixed rate as well. And from what the wording of the patch notes implies, the items needed to be used for activating these bonus event skills, they are affected by drop rate values. Each reset attempt, or re-rolling for another set of bonus skills, uses up a single fruit item, and you'll also be able to choose whether or not you want to pick the before or after resets, similar to a black cube. The bonus event skill effects last a total of two weeks after the event has ended. From what I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a reset limit. If I am wrong and this is just a case of Pina not being able to read, please let me know down in the comments so I can go correct myself in the description thereafter. The fourth part of this event is Toward the Black Heaven. Toward the Black Heaven is essentially a challenge style quest where you're required to clear either Normal, Hard, or Extreme Lotus for that week. Clearing Lotus of any difficulty once per week will allow you to claim a reward from the Bitter Bot NPC located in Scrapyard or by going to the Star tab at the left side of your screen and clicking on Toward the Black Heaven Learn Quest. This specific event also has a special mission, that mission being to kill Extreme Lotus on your own. Doing so will allow you to claim a set of rewards, that set of rewards only being claimable once per account. The fifth part of the event is called the I Haven't Done Anything quest. This event is a very nice little bit of AFK EXP that you can get that also caps out a total of 24 hours worth of EXP, so be sure to claim the EXP before the 24 hour cap or else you end up losing EXP for that day. Though I could not find a chart for this from previous releases of this event, take note that the EXP is more worth to claim on lower level mules rather than a high level main. And as for the rewards, you can claim said rewards after a certain amount of total EXP claimed, not time you've AFK'd, at certain cumulative intervals. There's also a way to accelerate the EXP collection time by entering the special peaceful park map that you can access via the star tab on the left side of your screen. Doing so will turn you into a little honeybee and then you can start collecting star candies that will add to the accumulative EXP that you've collected. There's also a cumulative reward for how many star candies you've collected while in the honeybee form, so be sure to pay attention to that list of rewards. 
And the last event for this patch is the Rock Spirits Golden Giveaway event. This event requires you to kill 1,000 mobs per day, after which you need to manually click on the check-in button per day. And thankfully, if you forget and or outright miss some days, you can always use the Golden Pass system at the cost of 3,000 Maple Points to make up a single day. And additionally, there is also a Legion and a Hyper Pass system, of which they both cost 49.9k Maple Points for each pass. Please also take note that the highlighted version of the chart is on screen now, as I've gone ahead and labeled which roles are for which pass. So at the least, you can gauge personally on whether or not you want one more than the other, or both. Hey everyone, Peanut here again. I'd like to once again thank everyone for watching and the continued support they've shown me over the past few years. I hope you all found this helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel, as both greatly helps me out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!